Hey everybody, this is Blue. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the microwave witches or the people that um, don't want to grasp the requirements of magic. Um, we have too many people out there who want to give the false illusion that all you have to do is cast a spell and everything goes wonderful. Now, in my first little animation here, we are looking at a pool table, and this is what they want. They want that you to be propelled right into the arms of the person that you love, with and then removing the any current girlfriend that that person may have. That is the what you want one love spell to do because it's easy but life is not easy now we got to go and look at the next animation and this one is you know if you just shoot yourself into this situation now when you look at that it is simply showing how you are thrusting yourself into the situation really with not working out any of the situations, not putting the effort out. And while the guy that you're interested in might get a new girlfriend, it might not be you. Because what you done was you disrupted everything by getting involved without working. Now, in all honesty, this is the final one I'm going to use here uh, for the pool animations explains it best. Okay, you're wanting to use magic to propel yourself into this guy's life. All right, but that's only part of it. You have to work on it. He has friends and family. Talk to them. You need to present yourself as a decent person. If they don't like you, uh, you just showing up in their friends or uh, family members' life isn't going to work because they will question him and all that. And that can cause problems in a relationship. You also have to worry about any other competition. You can't just thrust yourself in there and just say, here I am, and that's it. Because relationships are difficult. And if the guy is willing to break up with a current girlfriend for you, he can also break up with you easily for somebody else. Um. Magic does not guarantee love. It could probably get you the spark, but you have to put the effort, you have to work to keep the connection. Okay, just because you got him infatuated with you overnight does not mean that you will have a lasting relationship. Now, we got to continue on with this because the girlfriend was put in as the eight ball for a reason, because you have to be careful with who you play with, because she, if you sink the eight ball in pool, it's an automatic losing. Okay, remember? Well, if you go in there to disrupt the girlfriend, and you cause problems, that can come back and bite you in the butt. So you have to present yourself in a more positive meaning. You got to promote yourself, not tear her down. Yes, it is easier to tear people down than to build yourself up. But if you want a relationship, that's what you have to do. So that is one, that's another way of showing you 
about obstructions, how we have to overcome obstacles with magic. Um, you have to work. Half of it has to be magic, but half of it can be magic, but the other half has to be work. Physical, mental, emotional work. Okay? Now, one of the other problems that I have with the laziness in magic, and I actually created a video about this a few months ago, maybe a little bit longer, um, in a Facebook group, I had a member um, say that she had a friend that had just discovered that they had cancer, and she was asking for people to send her healing energy. That was the post. Two or three sentences. That's it. Nothing more. And so I raised a point. And how are we supposed to do this? Where's your friend at? What's your, what's your friend's name? What does she look like? We need to have something that we can focus on to send healing energy. Now, in the little diagram that you see here, you know, I have the figure in Maine being the one that made the request. And I am generally where I actually live in the United States, in Iowa. And all the other white figures represent people that found out that they had cancer that day. Because cancer is a very, unfortunately, widespread disease, affliction. And so, how is my magic, my healing energy, supposed to know where to go? Okay? This is a map of North America. Look at all the people. How do I know who gets it? She made a request. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try to fill it, but where does energy go? Does it go to Texas? Well, maybe. How about California, Canada, Alaska, um, Kansas? I don't know. But there are a lot of people out there that believe that magic is super magic. You don't need to know details such as where the person is at that needs a healing energy. All you have to do is broadcast it. It'll get there. No, it doesn't. Energy, well, magic is fickle. Energy is fickle. Um, look at a lightning bolt. You cannot predict where a lightning bolt is going to strike. It arcs, it weaves, and all that. It can turn. It makes some very beautiful imagery. It's not a straight line. It's not straight down. It arcs. It goes everywhere. Well, magical energy is energy. It's going to do that. And so if we do not have a way to guide it, gear it into the right direction, it is going to go anywhere and everywhere. So I send out healing energy well, it could go to the closest place to me, Kansas. Okay, great. I'm helping that person, which is a wonderful thing. But the energy request was for her friend. But where's her friend at? So maybe I should send out some energy and it can go to Oregon. Okay. Well, that's another random place. But somehow, healing energy, again, according to so many, knows where to go. And so, you know, we continue on, and voila, the person's in Texas. How are we supposed to know this? You know, we talk about creating a clear intent with our magic. We talk about the requirements to create an incantation to get the desired results, but there are so many people that just want to haphazard it. Oh, just send it out there and it'll get there. Somehow magic has this knowledge of where to go. And it doesn't. It's energy. We can... There is the Akasha record. There is the Akasha field. Yes, I'm not denying that. But we cannot assume that energy 
can't will know exactly where to go because you know look at like I said lightning can we direct lightning no we can't um, we have to use electrical wires with insulation to keep the energy inside to get it from point A to point B. Well, we need to be able to know where point B is so that we can try to channel the energy in that direction. We have 360 degrees around us. Give us one and we can send it. Um, just, you know, throw it up in the air and it goes wherever it goes, you know, that's not going to work. But that is how so many people view magic. And that is why we have such a high failure rate with magic these days. This is why people get upset because things aren't working. There is a lack of paying attention to details. You cannot just say, send my cousin some healing energy who was in a car wreck. Okay? I'm from a big family. I have, between my mom and dad's side, 13 cousins. Okay, well, I just said a cousin. Which one? You don't know. All right. What if somebody was to say, well, send it to my cousin's daughter. Well, gee whiz, I have a lot of cousins that have daughters. I have one cousin that has three daughters. Okay, so again, this is too generalization, too general for you to expect realistic results. If you have the need to get the spell done to get the incantation to work out you need to add the details you need to work on it you just cannot half ass an incantation and expect everything to fall into place you have to put the effort out there to realize what obstacles you face to achieve a goal like i was talking about relationships in the pool table there could be people that don't like you that like him he could have family members that do not like you. And so these represent an obstacle. You have to start working to present yourself in a better way so that they no longer dislike you. The person could have other women interested in him. And so breaking up his current relationship could be all that he, all these other women need to get up with him. And so all of a sudden you have more competition. You could be causing more work by doing it the lazy way than taking the time and getting it done right the first time. So that is all I am going to say about that. I hope everybody has a wonderful new year and everybody take care. Be at peace.